Practice problem number four associated with sample problem A. A hummingbird, 3.4 uh, meters above ground, flies 1.2 meters along straight path. <clears throat> Upon spotting a flower below, the hummingbird drops directly downward 1.4 meters to hover in front of the flower. What is the hummingbird's total displacement? So again, <clears throat> uh, I'd like to point out uh, that this information right here is not actually useful. Okay, it's not actually useful. Uh, I guess in concept, it establishes the fact that the hummingbird actually has room to descend, which is what the hummingbird does, right? It drops directly downward. And so I guess, I guess if you wanted to be uh, a critic of the problem, establishing that the hummingbird is actually above the ground gives you the ability to move down. But in terms of the math, we're not going to use that 3.4 at all. So let's draw our picture. So it is flying 1.2 meters along a straight path. Well, what direction? Again, let's establish our, our directions. So 1.2 meters along a straight path. Let's have that be in the x direction. So 1.2 meters. Then the hummingbird drops directly downward 1.4 meters. So down. So 1.4 meters. But look at our look at the coordinate system that we've established that we're assuming. So this needs to be negative, right? Because it's going down. Okay, I have to communicate direction. So uh, I'm looking for displacement, which is a vector. And all vectors have both magnitude and direction. Magnitude is going to be solved by using the Pythagorean theorem. Direction is going to be solved using the inverse tangent function. So let's go. Again, I'm looking for the magnitude and direction of this resultant right here. I'll represent it as D for displacement. So let's get started with the Pythagorean theorem. which if we solve for the resultant, meaning essentially square root it to start, we end up with this equation. So now that we know where everything's supposed to go, we can actually insert the values. Make sure that you do not forget about the negative sign in front of that 1.4 meters, because again, the direction is down. So actually squaring those. I end up with 1.4 meters squared plus 2.0 meters squared. Let's combine the like terms. I end up with 3.4 meters squared, but I still have it square rooted. And when I do square root, I end up with, again, using the appropriate number of significant figures. I'm just going to use two significant figures here because that's both the values that I have. 1.8. Again, uh, calculators give me a whole bunch of gobbledygook the vast majority of the time that I use it, so I, I can't can't just rely on copying what the calculator says. I have to use the appropriate number of significant figures. So now let's find that uh, that direction, right? And so that angle, that angle of displacement, which is going to be this angle right here, meaning because this x direction was the original, the, the first movement, and then the second movement was down. Okay, so we're moving this way from that original direction. So this is our angle. And that's important because we're using the inverse tangent function. And you remember uh, from trigonometry that tangent is opposite over adjacent. So from this angle, opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent. So that tells me to put in the negative 1.4 meters and the 1.2 meters appropriate or, uh, appropriately, thusly. And again, two significant figures Calculator is going to give me a whole bunch of other gobbledygook. End up with negative 49 degrees. Um, now, I think it's really a good idea to get in the habit of making darn sure that you are fully describing the, uh, the direction here. And so if you wanted to be technical here, 
you probably maybe could get away with just having this minus sign here. No, because again, negative referring to our original coordinate system indicates this kind of down, this downward direction. Uh, but the only problem is it doesn't indicate uh, from what original motion, okay? Negative direction or the positive direction it just says you're moving, you know, down 49 degrees. And so we want to get a little bit more descriptive. Now, again, we're moving down from this original horizontal movement, right? The horizontal movement was our original, and this displacement is down from the horizontal. So we... If we want it to be darn sure, we're actually going to write uh, 49 degrees below the horizontal. 